was just about to start planting these brassicas and I thought I ought to just do a quick film just for myself as well as everybody else. Uh, this brassica bed had brassicas in all summer and I've replenished the topsoil with some well rotted uh, farmyard manure and I sowed these uh, in modules and then planted them on so they've always been outside but as you can see they're going over on their elbows now and they're way overdue planting out. There's red and white cabbage, purple sprouting, kale and cauliflower and these should hopefully produce during the end of the autumn and into winter and into spring as well. Uh, so like I say this bed's already had brassicas in all summer and I'm hoping to get another crop out of it. It's 12 foot by 6 foot and I'm going to take everybody's advice and plant them a lot closer than what I did with the summer brassicas. There's some, um, I've got two beds here that I'm going to cover, the far one there uh, got some spinach growing there and uh, this one here these are 1.2 meters by 1 meter or is it 80 centimeters anyway I'm going to put nine in these I'm going to keep them close together uh, and see if uh, what sort of a crop I get from them and I will cover these with um, netting debris netting uh, while the uh, get established and uh, while the white cabbage butterfly is still about. So I'll get these planted in. Now you can see what I mean when I say they've gone over on their elbows. Um, but I'll plant them in as deep as I can and they should be okay. There is a little bit of white fly about uh, so I will, and there you are, you can see the, the culprit there. I will uh, give them a bit of a spray with um, some neem oil. So I'll plant these in and I'll bring you back when I've finished. And there you are, you can see the root system on these cauliflowers. That's a good root system that is. And mycorrhizal fungi in the hole. I will put some lime around the tops of them when they're planted in. So quite a few hours later, all these things take time, I've uh, got my winter brassicas in now, which is very pleasing, they are uh, all standing up like little soldiers, those there are cauliflower, and another bed there of cauliflower. The nice thing is with uh, planting them outside, and they've only been outside. They're uh, they're all standing up straight, and the stems are all hard on. And there's the bigger bed. Instead of three across, like I sowed my spring brassicas, I've done them five across. If it does seem that they are too close, I can always take the second row out on both sides. And. Uh, should give them a lot more room but there's um, Rudolph purple sprouting all year round cab uh, cauliflower tundra all the winter varieties and um, I've just got the lime to put around these usually in past years I've always put cabbage collars on but I've never had the cabbage root fly so in the spring I didn't bother and uh, touch wood I've had no problems but like I say I'm, I'm not on an allotment and the nearest vegetable patch to me is probably right over there in them trees the other side of them trees if people grow veg there I don't know but that's, that's nearly half a mile away so I'm lucky in that respect and the wind is always going in this direction that is east over there so most of our weather comes from the Atlantic West 
and uh, yeah I'm very pleased with that it's a good job done um, and that's what I've got left from uh, my sewings might keep them another week or so just to make sure that all these have taken and if not to replace them but I would think they'll all take they've all got good roots on as I showed you so even for this time of year, it's the 3rd of September today, even this time of year, still a lot in the garden, but it is time to make it start tidying up now. I've got uh, spinach there, uh, which should grow away well now that we haven't got the, uh, the heat of the, of the sun at this time of year. I've got some, uh, some hardy lettuce in there, two varieties in there. We've got some cut and come around the front garden and the wife's garden. Strawberries, I'm taking runners. Uh, probably got 40 runners in, in pots. And uh, as you can see, and there's plenty more to take and I will take as many as I can and then pick the strongest. And there's some late beetroot there, that all looks well. Now I haven't had to take anything off the leaves off these for the leaf beet leaf miner. So whether taking it off all the others as it came into view has done any good. But on these, there isn't any. So time for me to go and pick the wife up. And uh, like I say, the next video will probably be harvesting my carrots and beetroot, if you haven't already seen that. Take care everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.